that shows to me, from my perspective, a great level of maturity as an author. I feel like sometimes writers are so strong in, I know what's best for my story. And, um, you know, to the point where, like, I think a, a less mature or wise author would have just gone, no, I'm pulling my novel. Oh, well, look, um, I think... Um, look, uh, you're on the money. Um, I mean, the whole uh, writer of great maturity, that it, I think that is, um, I think that's pushing it a little, Joe. I'm sorry. But the thing is that I do um, have a great deal of respect and trust for, um, for my editors. Um, the, um, I, Ruby Ashby Orr is uh, the uh, senior editor at a firm press and, um, on, who I worked with for both books. And I, and I really, and I do trust her implicitly. She has, um, yeah, uh, she understands, I feel like she understands me as a writer and she, um, and has a, a wonderful um, sense. I, I feel like uh, she protects my voice and my vision, but also uh, tells me what I need to hear. And, uh, and so I, I do uh, when when she uh, when she suggests that possibly don't need the contemporary timeline, um, that did I did sort of um, I had a um, <laughs> I had a bit of a visceral reaction to that and a bit of resistance, but um, you know I went away and thought about it and and then just thought no I'll I'll give it a go, see uh, see how it see how it plays out. And, uh, and I think it probably is, uh, it probably is better for, um, uh, for cutting, for cutting Cass's, uh, story out of it. And it, when I started, I thought Nell's, uh, Nell Law's storyline, um, was only going to be half, um, half a novel. And, uh, and I just, and so, um, Ruby was quite right when she said, no, there's enough here for Nell to actually have the whole book. And it so it out um, your other characters. It allowed you to flesh them out. Um, and I think that, mm. that, that takes a lot of work. That's how we earn our stripes. 